So I've been getting a lot of responses about asking about how I use Notion for client work. I use it pretty much for everything to create my to-do list, my weekly to-dos. I take notes for Instagram and YouTube when I'm working on new content. And I also use it for client work. And I'm gonna show you quickly how I use that and what's my process of using Notion. And I recommend it because it's free guys. And if you're a freelancer, if you're a designer, even if you're just someone who does, you know, in, in another industry, it's totally worth it investing the time into it. So I'm um, gonna jump onto that and it's gonna be really awesome. And by the way, I'm using the new ZV-1 um, for this video, so we'll see how it goes. It shoots 4K, but um, obviously it doesn't have the wide angle. You can see my head sort of cut off, but um, we'll see how it goes. But let's jump in and I'm gonna show you how I use it. So I'm jumping into Notion and you can see on my left hand side, I've got my workspaces. And I'm gonna click on the client workspace. You can click on the little icon as well to change the icon if you wanna, you know, have a bit of playfulness and just, it's good to have that visual there to make it faster to locate things. I can also add a cover as well. So maybe if I wanna add a little color, a cover or something, um, I can go to Unsplash and maybe call it client or, or like design work or something, which is totally cool but I don't know, we'll select something like that. So typically for my process, I've got like an automated doc. So this is like a get started doc. It just explains a bit about my process. And obviously I need to add to this, it's just pretty basic. I've got my contact details, and then I've got a YouTube embedded video which shows them how to use Notion. Because I send them sometimes a worksheet or I send them the timeline, they need to know how to use it. So this is just a basic doc that I use for that. When I get a client call, I will write down notes you can see here, I've got a little note section and I write down notes here, which is really cool. I'm gonna go back here. If I know the client is gonna be most likely a client from the first call, I'll create a client folder. I've got this client page template that I'm using at the moment and I'm, I've already started tweaking it already. But if I go to a recent client that I've done, so you can see here, I select a red dot so I know, okay, that this client project is live. I wanna get the contact details. So obviously I'm not gonna show the number and the email. So I've just got the name, email and number. So I can quickly remember, I can just drop in here to remember. Consult call notes. So these are the first few sales calls. I write down notes to get a feel. What's the project? What is it about? Then I get a deliverables file here. So I'm keeping all the progress of what's been done. So I've done discovery session, done stylescapes, and I need to you know, do the logo design and the other stuff later on. So that just helps me keep track of everything. Go down here. I've also got discovery things here as well. So I've got a work here that I, uh, just a workspace here that I can use if I want to add notes. Typically because I do everything on, I have a PDF and an Illustrator file, I just do everything through there. So I don't need to use that as much. And then obviously some people just do user personas in here as a text thing. But for now, I'm not really using that. It's just there as a backup. And I've got a timeline here so I can click on the timeline. The thing about Notion is I can't color code these items, which sucks, but this is what I can send to the client. So I can actually like click share on the top right, copy this link here and share it with the client so they can keep track of where we are. So at the moment it's Thursday, the date's there and logo round one presentation is down here. Then I can see put refinement, um, you know, round two, round three, delivery, etc. And this just helps us stay on track when I'm managing the project. And at the moment, this is just how I keep track of everything and it's pretty easy. And this is how I use it for clients. For my personal stuff, you can see I've got a weekly to-do schedule as well. So I focus on my most important tasks of the day. I usually write three down. So if I have client work, then I'll put that down and any other to-dos, I put that down as well. And then to keep track of other things like email newsletters or errands or outstanding tasks, I put them down here just to keep track of everything. But typically I have like a content day, then I have like a client day. So you can see this day I, I like followed up on clients as you can see there, but it's just a good way to keep track of everything. And another cool thing as well, if you have like freelancers in your team, so for example, um, I had one of my, my friends that I outsource sometimes for freelance stuff. Um, I needed some business cards done. So typically I'll make a card here and I'll sign them to the, and then, you know, I put the inf project information and any other files there. And, and as they progress through that task, then, you know, they'll move, we'll move it along. Then we'll review and we'll refine it. So yeah, hopefully you got some ideas on my process on how I use it for client work and how to manage my projects. But overall, I'm always learning and refining my process and getting better with it um, all the time. So 
Hey, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Remember to smash the like button because that helps me out. And subscribe if you're a freelancer, if you're a graphic designer, and you want to create awesome things, then follow my channel. Really appreciate it. I'll talk to you soon.